Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna finally do the cello daily exercise number 15. It has been a while that uh, I've did the number 14, so let's do it. So, what we're gonna do today on cello daily exercise number 15. So if you saw my previous videos, where you can check it up here, uh, we did some Feuillard cello daily exercises, right? But this is already for more advanced cellists. Well, today actually I have here something that is for beginners or young cellists, children. But actually it's not really correct what I just said for beginners or, you know, for amateurs or for young cellists in general. Um, these exercises are actually very great. I discovered them actually lately. Um, I didn't know about these ones, but this one is uh, the book called uh, Feuillard Études de Jean Violoncelliste. So that means studies for the young cellist. Great exercises, fantastic, really for the left hand, uh, which I always talk about the articulation, which is very important. So today we're gonna do exactly this. The first exercise, the book, you can find in the link below in the video description. So you can click on it, download it, open it, and you can go and practice it. So, I'm gonna play now this exercise once through, and then I'm gonna explain to you how to practice and what you have to pay attention on. All right, let's do this. So, now that I played this uh, first exercise whole through, as you can see, um, now let's go a little bit more into detail. So, what do we want to focus first of all? As you saw, I try to play this as musical as possible, first of all. It's an etude, um, in, yeah, it's an etude. Very simple one and uh, not very exciting, of course, but always try to make this most excited as possible. So always you know phrase so let's say uh so i want to do some directions right uh so it's important also that you move when you play so that you don't stay statically right um, okay, but uh, the, the, the focus here is the left hand, but um, already we can work also on the right hand here. So here, very important is this exercise that you play as legato as possible, right? Really, so that you connect very well. So it doesn't become uh, like this, for instance. Uh, see? This kind of things. Now, so it should be really. By the way, what helps a lot, if you saw the other video, I think it was cello daily exercise number seven. Again, up here, I work on these two fingers, right? So that exercise. If you remember well, here you can apply the so. You can see the finger goes more like that, and then you connect. And then coming to the frog, check out. But anyway, this exercise you can see at number seven and number three of the cello daily exercises. You can find this exercise where I show an exercise to practice like this, and the other one is just that exercise to hold your ball 
and but you will find this. All right, to continue, so with the left hand, so the first bar, right, is this one, right, so we have the first and the second finger. We want to focus on only these two fingers, this one and this one, relax, stay free, don't, don't be blocked. So, all right, automatically the third finger goes together, but it's relaxed. It's not really pressed because or else it would be like this. Right now it's going to be pressed. If you press the other fingers, you can't articulate. See? So this is for the first bar. The second bar, we have this one. So second finger and fourth finger. Right, so the focus here is the second and the fourth. So the third one, this one stays relaxed, and the first one also. So the focus would be. As you can see, I lift a little bit my first finger up, right? But okay, you can uh, leave it on the string, but not pressing. Don't press with the first finger on the string. Leave it, just relax. See? So it would be. That, uh, exercise that you can do without a bow, just play the left hand. And so on, so on. So see, it's a kind of like a pizzicato. Helps a lot to improve your articulation. Okay, the next one, very obvious. Same, first finger, second finger is the focus. Now, the fourth measure would be, again, so four, two, four, two, this is the important one. Now, we go to the next one, right? Focus, where? Exactly, number three, number four. As you can see, my first finger is up. The second, I don't press on the string, but I give support to the third finger because or else it's gonna be... So you can give a little support with the second finger. Again, don't block, don't be like that. Relax. Your hand... If Anyway, if your hand is getting tired after a while, which is normal, especially for beginners and young cellists, this is normal. Just do like that, relax a little bit, you know, take two minutes break and then come back to the exercise. So, is that clear? Okay, we continue now to measure number six, which is this one. So, focus number three, number two, number four, finger, relax, the same here. So, right, the next one would be... Three, but the second goes together to give the support right to the third finger because you can't play and it gets difficult so you want to play together understood now the next one four one second finger relax number three you can give support to the fourth because the pink is not the strongest finger but uh, we can always give support with the third finger. So it would be like... Uh, right? Okay. Now we go to the third line of the exercise, which is on the G string. So... Uh, yes, clear? So where is the focus? Yes, exactly. Three, one. So... Fourth finger relaxed. Second... Yeah. You give the support. Now. Focus second, third. Fourth finger. Relax totally. And this one also relax, but on the string. Sorry. Next one would be... Right? 
as you saw again my first finger was released so it was a little bit off of course not lift too much up just up naturally just relax or if you want to keep it on the string but it's okay but relax this finger and the second is to give support uh, next one is the same as the one pr uh, before on the g string uh, on the d string sorry this one but this one is like this all right now we go to the c string the heavy one so here again but i'm not going to explain you anymore how, uh, on which focus now it's up to you where is the focus if uh, you watched uh, the other examples you will find out yourself but what we want to take care of here is the sound let's enjoy it. the C string you know make it sound big so really don't play use your elbow use the weight of the elbow See, so and very important that many uh, many people don't know or yes they don't they uh, they forget about is that play with all the hair so don't play with the wood that means yeah so you can hear immediately the sound uh, see okay I'm exaggerating of course but more sound you will get also if you use all the hair everything. So that means uh, another very important uh, um, thing that I want to say. I know it's just an exercise. Not excited. It's not exciting. Sorry, but play also elegant. So sit free, sit straight with the shoulders back and you do the exercise. And so on, see? All right, I hope this was clear for you. So this number one exercise, uh, of course, there are variations afterwards, but let's uh, stick with this as um, let's only stick with this. Um, then afterwards you can try to play this faster but first let's focus a little bit slower right okay guys so that was it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you will figure it out yourself the fourth line uh, on where is the focus because i didn't explain anything all right so i will see you next time with an exercise also from Feyar but for the wrist it's gonna be the number three because uh, there were some people that asked me like ah, I'm playing the Piatti Caprice number one and it requires the wrist is this one uh. so you see it was really like this so there is an exercise here which is the number three that we can work on the wrists so those that uh, is gonna, are gonna play uh, Piatti number one well take a look and I'll see you there. See you.